Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video we're going to see when and how to use a black layer mask. So let's go over to Elements and get started. I'm using Photoshop Elements 11 for this video. Recently someone asked me to show an example of when to use a black layer mask. Well, we know that when it comes to layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. In other words, a white layer mask reveals or shows everything on the layer that it's connected to, and a black layer mask conceals or hides everything on a layer. Let's say we want to lighten just the eyes of this photo. We can do it quickly with a layer mask in a few short steps. First, I'm going to duplicate the background layer by dragging it onto the Create New Layer icon, which is this icon that looks like a piece of paper with a dog-eared corner and that adds a new layer above our background layer and it's an exact duplicate of the background layer. Next, to lighten it, I'm going to change the blend mode from normal and if I click on normal it shows a list of blend modes that we can choose from and if you want to lighten a photo or if you want to lighten a layer I should say screen is the blend mode to use. So I'm going to choose that and you can see that our photo completely lightens up right away. I can turn this off and on and if you watch the photo you'll see the before and after. So it really lightens it up but we don't really want to lighten the whole photo we just want to lighten the eyes. We can use a layer mask to have the effect just on the eyes. So again in the layers panel if you click on the add layer mask icon it adds a white layer mask by default and because it's white it's revealing the whole layer but we want to hide the lighter effect on every part of the layer except for the eyes we know that black conceals or hides so we could paint over our whole mask with black except for the eyes that would work but it's not very quick a much faster way would be to hide or conceal the whole layer with a black layer mask and then just reveal the lightened effect on the eyes by painting with white on the eyes only. I'll show you how to get a black layer mask instead of white one. One way to do it is to create the layer mask and you have your white layer mask. You can go up to the edit menu and go to fill layer and then you get this dialog box and there's this drop down menu um, for what you want to fill your layer mask with and one of the choices is black. So if I choose that and say OK, right away our layer mask turns to black and now it's concealing that whole layer. So it looks this, exactly the same as our background layer. But there's even a quicker way to do it. I'm going to throw away my layer mask and I can do that by clicking and dragging it to the trash. Say delete. When you add the layer mask, if you hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC. So let me do that. I'm on a Mac, so I'll, I'm going to hold down the Option key and I'm going to click on the layer mask icon. So if you're on a PC, you would hold down the Alt key and then click and then you can let go of the key. And by doing that, instead of a white layer mask, it adds a black layer mask. And now we can choose our brush tool from the toolbox. Because the mask is black, we want to paint with white. And whatever our foreground color is, is the color that we'll paint with. The foreground color is this top square. And you can see right now it's black. But you can switch these by pressing the letter X on your keyboard. So I'll do that now. And you can see that now the foreground color is white. Which means that when I use the paintbrush on my photo, it will paint with white. And you want to make sure that you have the layer mask active and not your photo. Look at the layer mask and you can see there's this light blue border around it. That indicates that the layer mask is active. If I click on the thumbnail of the photo, you can see now that the light blue um, border is around the thumbnail of the photo. So I'll click on the layer mask to make sure that's active. I can use uh, the left and right bracket keys to make my uh, brush bigger or smaller. If you press the left bracket key, each time you press it, your brush gets smaller. 
and if you press the right bracket key it gets larger and now I'm just gonna paint over the eyes in that area that I want to lighten up it's almost like they're too light now and we can adjust that by lowering the opacity in the layers panel so just hover your mouse over the word opacity and then click and drag towards the left I usually end up going somewhere around 50 percent and now if we look at the before and after you can see it's quite an improvement I think in this case because his eyes were so dark I can even maybe go up to 65 percent and that looks pretty good so that's all there is to it that's a quick and easy way to show an effect on a small area of a layer first duplicate your background layer apply the effect to the whole layer and then hide the effect with a black layer mask and then just paint open the areas that you want the effect to show through on. So I hope you found some value in this video. Be sure to go to my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. You'll find a link in the description below this if you're on YouTube. Until next time, this is Rick saying take care.